It's about time we create a global village network. They say it takes a village to raise a child. I am that child. I'm a product of a network, a network of women who came together to raise me up. This is one of the reasons why I dress so colorful. I represent the many women that contributed in making me the woman I am today. Now I understand why Nelson Mandela said, people are not people without other people. I was born in Zimbabwe, and I was raised by a single mother, a strong woman who was surrounded by a strong network. As an only child, my mom could only shield me from a few things. One of the things that I experienced from a very young age was the domestic violence. I didn't understand it, but I knew it was wrong. I grew up with fear, instability, and when things got bad at home, my mother used to take me from one house to another. I didn't know why she did that, but for her, she was protecting me. I was always worried what was going on when I wasn't there. However, as I went from one house to another, being taken care like I was one of their own, I realized the value of a strong, supportive network. With this, I so desired from a young age to create such a community of women. So this young girl, at the age of 16, had the opportunity to go to London. I grew up in a cottage, never ever dreamt of going to London, but my mother had that dream, and that dream involved me. Through the support of her network, that dream became a reality. London, beautiful city, so many lights, totally different culture to what I had grew up knowing. It was challenging for me, but one of the things that I held on to so tightly was the high quality education that I was receiving. I went through my education so determined to succeed, simply because I wanted to make my mother proud, but more importantly, because I wanted to create that platform and community for women. I graduated in 2005 with a business studies degree, but much to my surprise, I was pregnant. That was not part of the plan. So, <laughs> so I realized how much my mom had been disappointed in me. To make matters worse, the friends that I had were not going through the whole motherhood thing. So the community that I had built for myself was falling apart. In a build to build a new community and knowing the value of being surrounded by positive women, I challenged myself to start a business at the age of 22. The mission for this online magazine was to unite women, simply because I know the power of women working together. One of the things that I took for granted and had not realized was that I had a mental block, and this mental block had something to do with money. In Zimbabwe, it is so taboo to ask for money when you're a young child. You just cannot get money from anybody. So I realized as I was going through this business idea, I could do everything else, but I couldn't sell. I could not ask for money. Well, what's a business with no money? This challenge went on and on and on until I dug deep and realized my childhood was becoming a barrier to who I wanted to become. In 2011, my Zimbabwean husband got a job to come to Zurich. I didn't know where Switzerland was. I had no clue um, where we were going, but I was up for the challenge. So we came to Zurich with the family, and at this stage, I decided let me start again, let me sell the magazine. Bad idea. I was lonely, I knew no one, and the sale of the magazine left me extremely depressed. So I know what it's like 
to be a woman in a foreign country, lonely, feeling worthless, and most of all, feeling like a failure. However, being the strong African woman I was told to be, I challenged myself to get out there. I started going to different networking events simply because, again, I need a network. I need women around me. I wanted to build new relationships. I went to, to networking events one after another. This woke up my dream again. Build that community. I went on to think about it. This is when the idea of the Women's Expo came to be. An exhibition that brings women from all parts of Switzerland under one roof. Not only that, an exhibition that has female business owners as the exhibitors. I know what it's like to struggle to find customers. I know what it's like to grow a business. This was the perfect idea. There are currently 246,000 female business owners in Switzerland. That number was enough for me to start. In 2013, at this stage, I knew just six female business owners. My goal was to have 40 exhibitors. Much to my surprise, the first exhibition had 87 exhibitors. That, to me, was such a big achievement. And we had 500 visitors. In 2016, we had 187 exhibitors and 2,700 visitors. As I've gone from strength to strength, I've realized, for me, as a woman coming to Switzerland with no language and no knowledge of what Switzerland is about, the success of this platform has been because I have built a network. I've allowed myself to share my story, where I am going, where I am coming from, and most importantly, why I believe women should work together. Every day, I continuously talk, women should support each other, women should work together, simply because I am a product of a network. So if you would like to build your own network, I would say there are times where you'll have to give more than you'd want to get. But most importantly, if you want to go fast, I suggest you go alone. But if you want to go far, then I would say go with others. Thank you.